I am Anil Kumar and here is solution for your test question on sequences and series. The question is determine the hundredth term of the arithmetic sequence with seventh term as 465 and thirteenth term as 219. So what we are given here is T7, seventh term as 465. We are also given T13, the thirteenth term as 219 and we need to find the hundredth term. That is the question. And it is all in arithmetic series. So when it is in arithmetic series, general term is given as a plus n minus 1 times d, where d is a common difference, n is the number of term. Now using these two given terms, we can actually find a and d. Once we find a and d, we can find t hundred. So let's apply the formula. So T7 is equal to A plus 7 minus 1 times D and T7 is 465. So we get 465 equals to A plus 60. Here we know T13 is equals to A plus 13 minus 1 times D. T13 is 219 that is equals to A plus 12D. So we have two equations, let's number them as 1 and 2. Now if I do equation 1 minus equation 2, what do I get? I get 465 minus 219, right, equals to A minus A0, I get 6D minus 12D, is it okay? That is what I get. Now let us use our calculator. We have 465 minus 219 equals to 246. So we get 246 equals to 6 minus 12. We can write minus 6d. And from here, d is equals to 246 divided by minus 6. So if I divide 246 by 6, I get 41 with a negative sign. We'll write 41 is the value of d. Now once you know D, you can always find A, right? So let us find A now. A could be, we could find A using either of one or two equations, any one of them. So D is minus 41. So let us say, let me draw a line here also, otherwise may create confusion, right? So now what we know here is, we'll use the equation 219 equals to a plus 12d and then we know d is equals to minus 41. So using that equation we can find a. So from here a is equals to 219 minus 12d right which is 219 minus 12 times minus 41. So that gives us the value of a which is 219 plus Let's multiply, right, 12 times 41, 492. Let's add 219 to it. So we get 711. So 711 is the value of A. So what we know now here is that D is minus 41 and A is 711, right? So we can find 100th term, T100 using the formula t100 should be equal to a is 711 711 plus 100 minus 1 times d d is minus 41 correct so let's substitute these values and find the answer so we'll do 100 minus 1 times minus 41 so that is 99 times 41 that gives us 40 and a negative number, right? 711 minus 4059, correct? So now we will do 711 minus 4059. So we get our answer, which is minus 3348, right? So that is how you can get your hundredth term, right? So the idea here is, given those two terms, find A and D. Once you have A and D, then get your hundredth term. So that is the step to be taken. So that is a knowledge-based question. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.